So, you know I'm a teacher, but I'm also a student. I'm always trying to learn something new. Like, even when I'm trying to fix this gas tank for my lawnmower because it's got a crack in it, uh, I wanted to learn about the actual epoxy kit that I'm going to use to fix that hole. Now, epoxies are basically carbon and hydrogen atoms in these long chains. And if you remember that from chemistry, if you haven't learned your chemistry yet, you're going to learn about it. Um, but, but basically there's resins and there are hardeners and there's catalysts and, and basically like any reaction when two things mix together, uh, you form this, this new substance, this new compound and, and it's going to be a reaction. It's going to be an exothermic reaction. So when I mix these two parts together, or if you've ever uh, mixed two parts epoxy with like the two tubes that kind of mix together, uh, sometimes you get an exothermic reaction. That means there's going to be some heat given off as I mix this up. So I'm going to mix this up to see what happens. Uh, use this fiberglass patch and we'll see what happens. So I think it worked. It's really sticky. In fact, uh, my glove is stuck to the package and, and the brush as well. I'm glad I used gloves. It was definitely exothermic. It got warmer and warmer the more that I mixed it up and was using it. And, and it was also kind of smelly too. So I'm sure those compounds as they mixed up uh, gave off some, some gases as well. Um, but it looks like it's going to do a great job. I can't wait to uh, to try it out once uh, once it's all cured. I got to give it plenty of time according to the instructions. Follow the instructions. Always follow the instructions. But as an educator, as a learner, I always want to try and look up and see what else I can learn too. Be a learner, just like uh, we want our kids to be learners.